the indo russian government is bent upon correcting the social disorders what have been prevailing in their country the draft criminal court undang undang hukum pidana criminal court k u h p kitab undang pidana the indonesian house of representatives are going for a draft criminal court amending the existing the criminal court r k u m p h what they call this one and in this the indonesian government though indonesia is considered to be one of the highest inflation but it's bent upon its moral values nowadays everywhere the dating has become very common and very fashionable the live in relationships have become very much common and widespread and many people are supporting this kind of living in relationships due to different reasons of their own choice and of their own opinion but we have seen the living in relationship the extra marital relationship sex before the marriage or the extra marital relationships are causing lots of harm to the family systems in most parts of the world and indian system and also the indonesian system of governments the societies they believe in a strong a pure ethical family relationships and most of the countries all over the world we find that one they abide to the ethical relationships everywhere agree disagree it should be open so that's way it's going on everywhere in the world and here nowadays we have seen the crime rate is increasing because of the extra marital relationships what they have or most of the people have or it is all premarital sex premarital sex child sex has become very common and living living in relationship is major cause of annoyance everywhere recently we have been seeing many cases how the people behavior is changing because of this changing trends of relationships unethical relationships undesirable relationships unacceptable relationships relationships have become widespread and very common and there are open some thousands of dating sites everywhere and you find that one escort boys escort girls in that way we find lots of advertisements and lots of the websites also so indonesian government has taken a bold step it wanted to make changes in 19 in 1990 ending itself but it is to be acceptable to the people to the house of the representatives by 2019 as it was proposed but there is widespread opposition because any good event a good thought will provoke lots of protest by people so the same way what they said that one in indonesia there was protests at national level saying that one if this kind of provision of 
sex, living in relationship, extra marital relationship, if it is accepted, they said that one, it would violate the human rights. And how far it is correct, we don't know because so ethical values, ethical values should be proper, it should be continued in the same way. But whatever may be, the government bowed down to the pressure of the public and it made some amendments to its proposed draft and now the final draft is ready for the representatives, House of the Representatives to discuss and to accept and we will see, let us see how much more will be done and how, what will be the consequences and also the government is bold enough to implement it. If this becomes a law and the law comes to into force, then it is really a remarkable one and it, it will be a mile milestone and also trendsetter for all the countries in the world. Whoever want to follow the principles of family, principles of principle life, principles of ethical life. And this one, it is number one is that one, it prohibits, it prohibits the criminal court draft, prohibits the people for any kind of extra marital ship or premarital sexual relationship. Premarital sex is completely banned according to this draft. And if it is done, if anybody is caught and approved, then it will lead to one year of prison uh, imprisonment and also heavy and hefty fine. That is one thing. Second thing is living in relationship either for the foreign national or for the for their own Indonesians. The living in relationship is also prohibited according to this draft because the president of Indonesia clearly states that one the Indonesian government wants to stick up adhere to the philosophy to the theories and also the ethical values of the Indonesian government there are so many Muslims and also there are many other religions. The Deputy Minister for Justice, we had very long discussions with human rights associations and also other religious leaders. Now, as a consciousness, they agreed for the following provisions. Number one, premarital sex is prohibited. Number two, living in relationship is prohibited. Number three, sex with any extra marital relationships are completely prohibited and such extra marital relationships will be treated as prostitution and it is under category t 2 under category 2 they decided to impose one year of imprisonment or they want to levy hefty fine for these And the Deputy Minister for Justice, Edward Omar Sharif Hiaris, stated that one, these laws will be strictly adhering to the adhering to the principles and the morals of the Indonesians. And Indonesia, it has it is one of the countries with the highest Muslim population. 
and also there are there is already there is already a criticism against the government that one the government is curtailing the freedom of women it is curtailing the freedom of the religious minorities as well as the homosexuals and since long time the government of indonesia has been trying for formulation of this draft and one draft was proposed in 19 2019 they wanted to enact it but because of the large scale protests they postponed the idea and then 2019 till 2022 they had widespread discussions with all kinds of associations religious people human rights organizers and finally this kind of very very healthy draft bill is finalized now it is going for that one it will give you a wide shock rude shock to those who are in the unethical behaviors because the disciplinary life in a family system is very important for strict bonds and real bonds for the family and also for the healthy society because how the family and the society is there the same way it will it will have its reflection on the children and the future generations so indonesia is trying to adhere to the highest values of human dignity human equality and also self discipline and also for preserving promoting human values and the family values social values it's really a bold step and we have to welcome and the same things can be done in other countries also wherever we say that one we are adhering to the rich values of our own countries all the best thank you very much